Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand junction leakage or reverse bad leakage currents in case of MOS transistors. Here on your screen, I have drawn a cross-sectional view, just a pictorial representation of a PMOS and an NMOS which are both fabricated in order to make an inverter but I have not made the external connections of input and outputs. Here you can see an N well. Because there is an N well, you know that a PMOS would be fabricated, so P type diffusions and this is the contact for the well and we know that the N well in a PMOS the body the substrate the well or the bulk needs to be connected towards VDD so this is nothing but this N well has been given a connection towards VDD this is P substrate on P substrate we fabricate NMOS so diffusion impurities N type N type for source and drain and P substrate for an NMOS or bulk or body needs to be connected to ground which I have shown here now what happens is there are PN junction diodes which are formed. If you look at the circuit properly, the PN junctions are formed between the diffusion and the substrate. This is the diffusion, N type, P type substrate, P type is connected to ground and there will be some source voltage applied. Similarly, some drain voltage applied, P type connected to ground. So there is a reverse bias diode which are getting formed between the PN junction. Same is the case, the PN junction is getting formed between the diffusion and the N well as well. P type, drain and source, N well connected to VDD, Correct? Source would be connected to VDD, but drain might be connected to the output for a PMOS, correct? So this shows us that, I have just magnified the two and I have shown here, in the P substrate, N type impurities, in the N well, P type impurities, and I have just shown the diode, and because of the body or the bulk connections, this diode are nothing but reverse bias diode. Similarly, PN junction reverse bias diode is also formed between the P substrate and the N well as well. So P substrate, diode, N well, we know that N well is connected towards VDD, so this is connected towards VDD, this is connected towards ground, so again there is a reverse bias condition. This is all because the substrate and the well are tied to ground and VDD to ensure that this diode remains reverse biased. But we know that this reverse bias diode will also conduct a small amount of current when the transistor is off, correct? And that current is nothing but I have just written in the screen, this is very straightforward. ID which is equal to IS, we know this for a reverse bias diode, E raised to VD by VT minus 1, where IS depends on the doping levels and the area and parameter of the diffusion region, correct? VD is nothing but the diode voltage and VT is nothing but the thermal voltage, we know that, that is 26 millivolts at room temperature. What we can make out from the equation is when the junction is reverse bias more than the thermal voltage, my leakage current would be equal to IS. Now why are we even discussing this leakage current? Because in the further clips when we start studying dynamic circuits, we'll come to know that when the transistor is off, in dynamic circuits there is some leakage current flowing because of the PN junction diode which will tend to lose the charge on my dynamic circuit and hence dynamic circuits needs to be refreshed periodically. Also this reverse leakage current will constitute to a part of power dissipation when the transistor is off. It leads to a part of static power dissipation which we'll see when we see the clip on power dissipation. So basically what we have understood from this clip is there is a reverse bias diode which gets formed and we want it to be reverse bias because we don't want it to conduct any current but we also know that very well that reverse bias diodes still conduct some part of the current which will lead to leakage current which will tend to lose on the charge in case of dynamic circuits and this constitute to power dissipation which is static power dissipation which we'll see in further clips. I hope you have followed this. It was very straightforward. Thank you very much and stay tuned.